All right, so I'm going to do a quick lazy video. Um, if your Asus laptop is having issues with the um, shortcut keys or the hotkeys here, so before these buttons weren't doing anything, right now they're working. Um, so a lot of times people won't know, but Asus, for some reason, their special hotkeys up here require a special driver. So let me restart everything and I'll show you how you do this. So first what you want to do is open up a web browser. You can use any browser you want. You can use Internet Explorer, doesn't matter. Um, and then you just go to asus.com, okay? That should be obvious, but yeah, asus.com, go over there. All right, what you want to do from here is go to support, okay? Click that, and then go to consumer support. Once you do that, um, you'll select what you have, most likely a laptop, but um, you can also search down here, okay? So what you want is the drivers. So here you see here, enter this download center. So click that, okay? And then you want to enter your model name or model number. So the way you find that on the bottom, you'll have these stickers, okay? If you don't know what it is, I'll show you a different way to do it real quick. Um, sorry, I know it's upside down. Let me flip it over. Okay, so here you go. This is model FX73V. Or you got the full model number here, FX73VE-WH71. So you want to get as close to these model numbers as possible, okay? So FX73V, okay? So let me show you that. If you don't have your sticker, somebody might have peeled, if you peeled it off or something, then I'll show you a way after I show you how, what you do from here. So type in this, fx 73 V, it should automatically fill. So here you see VE. So the model showed FX73 VE on this one. Once you click that, um, you'll want to, let's see, where is it? Oh, here you go. On the right hand side, you'll see this driver. Sorry, it's focusing all weird. You'll see driver and tools. Click that. From here, you'll want to select the operating system you're running. Um, if your computer's relatively new, it's probably Windows 10. Okay. And then all of these, if you have Windows 10, will pretty much install by itself, so you don't need to worry about it. But um, if you go to, let's see, Device Manager, you can see, make sure all your drivers are installed um, and you don't have any yellow triangle things. Okay, so there's no triangle things on here right now because I already did everything. But um, most of these you can get through Windows Update and you don't have to worry about manually installing it. But the main one you want to install on your own is this ATK okay so you want to download this ATK thing just click download right save it wherever I always just save it to the desktop and then click save okay I already have the thing on my desktop but um, you'll see the download depending how you're doing your download okay it's a small download so it'll download pretty quick so I got the file here sorry it's all blurry there you go ATK but basically you open it you can right click it and then just say open all right so if you don't have right now I'm using 7-zip but if you don't have that it'll probably do this open with and then you might have Internet uh, Windows Explorer you might have WinZip or WinRAR or whatever it doesn't matter just open it grab the stuff that's in there throw it outside on the desktop or in another folder Okay, or you can just extract them, whichever way. All right, after you do that, just double click the setup file. Okay, let that run. I already installed it, so I don't know if it's gonna let me do it again. Okay, it does, so I'm just gonna say repair, but basically you'll say finish, or to install it. Actually, I don't wanna mess with this, so I'll just leave it alone. But once you install that, it'll ask you to restart the computer. Just restart your computer. And after that, your home or your your hotkey should work again. Okay, so hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe because that'll help me. It'll also help others find this video so that they can fix theirs. Sorry, I don't know how to do screen recording and I or I can figure it out, but I'm just too lazy to do it. Um, and also, there's a customer's computer, so I don't want to install screen recording software on their stuff. Um, but anyways, I'll show you the other way if you don't know the model number. Let's see if you should be able to find it like this. Just restart your computer. And then usually for Asus, it's delete, but it could also be F2. Um, so while it's restarting, just keep pressing the delete key. Okay. Usually you'll want to wait till the screen turns off. 
Okay, keep pressing the delete key. And it should go to the BIOS. If the delete key doesn't work, you might have to use F2. And if you guys are wondering what's in that cage, that's my guinea pig. Oh, I need to clean up her poops. But, um, okay, so delete didn't work, so we're going to try F2 after that. Alright. She's eating her hay. We'll wait for this thing to restart, because it has a slow hard drive. <laughs> okay. So, come on. Must be doing an update. Oh, I guess now you know the customer's name. <laughs> Come on. This thing is so slow. I always try and get everyone to upgrade to SSDs, but they're like, um, well, since the owner of the computer, or the one that's doing the repair, paying for the repair, doesn't, isn't the one that's using it. They're just like, just do the minimum. I just want them to be able to use it. But, um, yeah. So, since delete didn't work, we'll try F2. Sometimes it doesn't work, so you have to kind of press both. I mean, I don't have two hands, and I can't reach both. So, right now, because I'm holding my camera or my phone. So, I'm going to try F2. If that doesn't work, I'm going to have to put the phone down and then press F2 and delete while it's restarting. So I'm just pressing F2. It's usually F2 or delete. I guess I can do this. There we go. Okay, so now we got this up. And then hopefully in here somewhere, it will show the model number. Let's see. There's serial number. I don't see a model here. Normally it will show the model up here somewhere. Let's try going in here. Nope. Interesting. It doesn't actually show the model here. So I guess this won't be of use. Sometimes, let's see here, easy mode. Is it because it's on easy mode it doesn't want to show anything? Let's try advanced mode. Okay, so we're in advanced mode now. Let's try scrolling down here. System information. It's missing. Normally it will have the stuff here. So maybe it's not on this computer, but it might show up on yours. This is kind of strange that it doesn't show up. Normally it will show a model number or something in here. But yeah, I don't see a model number here. So I don't know if... I mean, maybe this will help some people if you have a different model. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully you'll be able to find what your model is. If not, you can try using the serial number of your computer and looking it up. So here it shows a serial number. You can try looking that up. All right. Um, yeah, or you can see a serial number here. Yeah, but that's strange. Normally it will show the model number or something here. I guess all you can do is edit the date and time. Okay, but anyways, hopefully you'll be able to find your model number. If you can't, um, sometimes you can disassemble it partially and you can find like motherboard numbers and stuff. And then you can use the motherboard model, look for um, look for the motherboard online. And then using that, it'll like people will say this motherboard model is for this computer. And that's how you can find that information. Okay, so anyways, hopefully this video helped you. But basically, you just need to download and install the ATK driver. Um, and then all these keys will work for you. All right, again, hopefully it helped. If it did, please like and subscribe so that other people can find this video. And thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.